Well, you're talking, as you're hearing from Vinnie there in London, the Queen. The Queen has agreed to uh, suspend Parliament after that request from Boris Johnson. This, very, uh, this is her constitutional duty. It's not something she can refuse. It is a ceremonial role. But nonetheless, what does all of this mean and what is going on? Well, this process of suspending proroguing in the formal terms parliament is actually a normal process the precedent goes back uh, well it goes back centuries it is part of the life of british democracy but the controversy here is about timing let's go back to the basics though when we think about parliament think of it like a school or a college with semesters these are the parliamentary sessions think of these as like terms each one of these is ended when parliament is prorogued suspended so that the government can clear the way for their new agenda. They ask the Queen to make this formal announcement. Parliament then pauses before coming back, hearing a speech delivered by the Queen, but written by the government, where they outline their priorities for the period ahead. And then Parliament is back in a new session. New term begins. This is an uncontroversial part of British constitutional life. The controversy comes in the timing employed. The timing employed by Boris Johnson choosing to do this in mid-September and for the duration of the pause before coming back for the Queen's speech, which could be as long as a month. Critics say this is an attempt by Boris Johnson to squeeze down the time they would have to interrogate his Brexit plans and to stop him going for a no-deal Brexit. Well, to show you the strength of feeling, within a matter of hours, more than half a million people had signed an online petition demanding that Parliament is not prorogued, is not suspended. The Speaker of the House of Commons, John Burkow, who of course we all know has become quite famous from his fiery exchanges in these Brexit debates, well, he said this was an outrage. The Labour Party leader called it a smash and grab on democracy. But Boris Johnson was backed up by Brexit supporting MPs. Let's not forget they have accused Parliament of MPs getting in the way of Brexit. They say no, it's good for the Prime Minister to shorten the amount of time politicians would have to get in the way of Brexit. They, some people like Michael Fabricant here, saying it's MPs who are being anti-democratic by trying to oppose the will of the people expressed in that referendum. Overall, though, Tokes, this process of proroguing, suspending Parliament is normal. The timing is controversial here and that is why this has become such a hot topic, such a divisive issue in the UK.